हे गाइज दिस इज सुभाषिष मिश्र योर टेस्ट कोच टुडे वी विल लर्न हाउ टू राइट डिफरेंट टेस्ट केसेस फॉर ए मोबाइल दिस इज वन ऑफ द मैनुअल टेस्टिंग इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन व्हिच इज फ्रीक्वेंटली आस्ड बाय इंटरव्यूअर्स टू चेक योर कैपेबिलिटी इन बिल्डिंग डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ टेस्ट केसेस आई होप दिस वीडियो विल हेल्प पीपल हु आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर सॉफ्टवेयर टेस्टिंग इंटरव्यू लेट मी नो इन द कमेंट सेक्शन इफ यू हैव फेस्ड दिस काइंड ऑफ इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन and you need help in that definitely i will try my best to give answer for those questions so let's start actually we can write many test cases depending upon which kind of mobile it is for example it is simple old nokia phone which has very basic features like calling then sms or for example there will be a simple calculator so you can write very less test cases for that right because there are uh, very less features in that but if it is a smartphone then you can write lot more test cases so it is always good to clarify from your interviewer for which mobile you need to write test cases so you ask your interviewer are you asking for a smartphone or are you asking for a simple phone what it is so if possible check also if it is an android phone or iphone or what exactly the requirement is so it is always important to know that exact requirement okay before we write any kind of test cases so in this case we'll consider a smart android phone and we'll write different test cases for that so the first thing here what i will consider i will consider these basic things right calling functionality sms then what are the build up for that mobile how it is built then camera audio video application so these are the basic criteria i am taking to write test cases for a mobile so when a mobile comes in your hand right so what the first thing you check so the very first thing maybe you will check the type of mobile right if it is a smartphone or if it is a normal phone or it is a uh, if it is a smartphone then again it is a android phone or iphone or what it is right so the type of uh, phone so your very first test cases will be check the type of mobile phone okay then the second thing you can do check all the required buttons so when we get a mobile the very first thing we try to do calling someone right that is the basic functionality mobile is used to call someone or receive a call something like that right so to do that we need to check all the required calling buttons like uh, from 0 to 9 all these numbers are there not are there or not then uh, calling button is there or not then receive button is there or not so all these things we need to check then uh, check the numbers and characters are printed on those buttons so if we need to type something whether those uh, characters a to z is there or not right then again we can uh, make capital letters small letters all those kind of things those features are available or not we need to check then we can do check these buttons are placed properly for example volume button for example uh, power button so all these buttons are placed properly okay so you can switch on a phone you can switch off a phone so those things you can check right then you can check uh, so those buttons are working fine or not then the next thing is check whether the phone comes with the charger and length of the charger kind of things right how much big length it is uh, so you can connect it to the power and you can charge the phone so definitely that is the next thing you can ch check so phone is switched on then you are charging the phone then you are checking phone can have different sims or not so nowadays we are seeing dual sim single sim right so whether it accepts dual sim or single sim whatever it is it should work right if it is dual sim then we should expect for dual sim if it is a single sim then we should expect for a single sim so check that so those connectivity is should be there or not so should be there actually okay then check sim fits properly and connects the correct network so if you are putting a airtel sim it should connect to the airtel network or jio sim it should connect to the jio network so check verify those things right then once you put the sim then what you can do next thing check the user can make a call by using the number button so you are dialing something and you are connecting someone right so your phone you should able to call someone okay similarly check you should able to 
receive a call from a different phone. So, take another phone and do a call and you should be able to receive it. Then check whether user can access phone directory and check you can save and delete new numbers and all right. So, you should able to add a number, you should able to delete a number, you should able to modify a number. So, check all those things. So, again those are one one test cases. Then check the user can send and receive SMS. So, SMS is a very big feature right. We should able to send a message, we should able to receive a message. So, check all those things. Then the next thing is check whether the user can decline an incoming call. So, you are getting a call, you should able to decline it. Then you can check that user can make the uh, phone as in silent mode or vibration mode. That is important right. We are getting a call, we should able to make it silent or we should put it in a vibration mode right. So, we should able to do that. Check that user can set the different ringtones. You should able to put different different kind of ringtones. Then check the screen size of the phone. So, what is the screen size if it is a uh, 5 inch phone or 6 inch phone or whatever it is, whatever the size given in the requirement we should verify that. Check the memory of the phone. So, what is the memory? So, that is important right as per the requirement the memory should match. Then you can check the screen brightness of the phone. So, and you should able to adjust it right. So, if it is low you can make it more bright or if it is more you can make it less. So, all those things you should able to do that. So, you can write a test case on that. The next thing is check the phone has a camera. So, nowadays camera is a very basic feature in phones right. Again depending upon your requirement if that phone supports camera then check that phone has a camera or not right. Then check the check the specification of the camera. So, what are the different specification for that camera that also you verify. Then check the phone weight as per the requirement. Then you can check the uh, phone you should able to lock the phone right. So, once you open the phone you should able to lock it. So, no one should able to open it and what are the different locking options that are available you can verify all those things. Then check the phone has a calendar and time option right. You should able to check the time and you should able to see the calendar in that phone. Then check if the SD card can be inserted properly. So, this is again a feature just check if you have that feature in your requirement you can check that if the SD card supported. Then you can also check installing and installing different applications. So, install different apps and uninstall different apps and verify that your phone is working fine and those apps are working smoothly right. So, you can write one test case on that on different different applications. Then you can check you can take a screenshot in that phone again depending upon the feature if this feature supported you can you should able to do it. Then check volume buttons right. So, uh, in, in a phone we should have different different uh, we should able to play audio video. So, verify those you can you know, verify you should able to play both audio and video properly and verify this volume buttons works fine you can reduce the volume you can increase the volume. Then you should uh, check the battery also your uh, battery works fine and how much time it should charge right. If it is char it should charge for 3 hours, it should uh, charge for 4 hours or if it should charge for 1 day whatever the requirement is given it is uh, taking that much time. So, you can check the performance of the battery ok and your uh, phone gets charged in how much time. For example, it is charged within 1 hour of time that also you can verify. Then again you can go to your manual instruction when we buy a new phone we get a manual instruction. So, check if all the manual instructions work fine on that mobile phone. So, you can verify that also. So, all these are the uh, random test cases you can always think more you can add more test cases ok. So, there is no limitation you can think more you can add more test cases. Uh, hopefully, this how many test cases I have told you it will help for you in your interview ok. Thank you. If you have any questions please let me know in the comment section I will try to explain it. Please like share and subscribe to my channel.